Based on feedback from many customers in the market, they say that the materials used in this machine need to have the pressure adjusted. Now, let me demonstrate how to do that. How do we adjust this? The pressure adjustment between these two wheels is done using this pressure block, which adjusts the gap between the two wheels, also known as the waste force adjustment. First, we loosen this nut, and then we use this screw to adjust it, which is part of the pressure block. Adjust the tightness by moving down and up. Materials under 1.0 mm don't need adjustment. For 1.5 to 2 mm, adjust the pressure block clockwise. Due to thickness, use one piece as a standard. For example, with a 2 mm piece, place it between the wheels, move the lever up until the block touches, ensuring a perfect fit, secure by tightening the nut and screw. As a standard for the gap, for example, if we have a piece that's 2 mm thick from Wuhan, I take that piece and place it between the two wheels. Then, I move the lever all the way up so that the pressure block just touches this position, which means the piece of material fits perfectly in there, not too tight and not too loose. That's how we set the gap. After the adjustment is complete, just tighten this nut and secure this screw in place. Uh, next, the difference between the steel wheel and the rubber wheel is that the adjustment method is exactly the same. It's just that since the rubber wheel is soft and has some rebound, when we adjust the pressure, it will be slightly less than with the steel wheel to allow for that rebound. The adjustment will be slightly smaller than the steel wheel to allow for a bit of rebound. Is that it?